All right, well, I didn't tell exactly the truth, but it's, I'm innocent. <laughs> Just looked over here, I was getting stuff situated around, and I realized I got two more letters that were not in with our pile of letters to answer. So it's bonus, 24 plus two more bonus letters. So 26 letters, you know, I gotta be so careful. You know, there's enemies of the ministry that would call me a liar probably because he said 24 and he read 26. Oh, he's a deceiver. Stop watching him. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, letter number 25. Right? J.S., initials J.S., St. Francis, Wisconsin. Okay? Um, all right. Little thing there. Hi, hello. Neat little card. And we have a letter inside here. This is uh, June 20th, it looks like, 2020. Dear Denlingers, I do not have a computer and the libraries are closed. I hope that you can read this. I very much appreciate your hard work and great sermons. I pass out tracts and leave Bible translation information in the comments of many different video sites. It appears that strong delusion is already upon many. See the truth. Um, the, they cannot seem to see the truth, yet there may be one more that needs to hear about it. Recently, I looked up the word regeneration in the Noah Webster 1828 Dictionary, I believe it will help me explain to those um, searching for the Lord, I think, um, what uh, being born again would look like to them. Hopefully it will clarify. I pray your house, um, pure housework, uh, or works out for you and that it meets your needs. Um, I have, sorry, some of this is, I, I can't read it all that great. Um, I considered trying to purchase a tiny home, but don't, but I'm not sure, excuse me, that it is, that is what the Lord wants me to do. It may involve some debt and taxes. Still praying about it. I am elderly and one eye has gone blind. Please pray for me also. And we have been, um, you know, uh, but the, the, the thing of a tiny home, yeah, I would recommend that. You know, make sure you get it without being in debt, though. Save up for it. Um, looking for the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How awesome that he paid my my full price, and yet shares his inheritance with us and through all eternity shows his generous um, love and kindness to us. Oh, how he loves us. Amen to that. My other concern is regarding the saints uh, is that there seem to is that it, the, the heart of the saints seems to be going, going cold. Yeah. Not just in the world, which has gotten to be upsetting to say the least, but also in the church. Um, Jesus, must, Jesus must be our first love. He's God and can be second to none. All that is going on now is to um, separate and divide through fear, I think is what that is, that can take a toll on many. He said the world would know that he was come by the love the saints have one for another. Forgiveness is very important. Not forgiving can close us out of God's favor, for he will not forgive those who do not forgive. I have seen its devastation. Yeah, amen. Um, Please consider researching Saturnalia. I have. Um, so, uh, yeah, very good letter. Um, 
And I just want to make it clear that I do forgive my enemies, if I've not talked much about that. Uh, forgiving an enemy does not mean that you have to just go and, you know, become buddy-buddy with them again. Um, you know, I, you know, there's times my flesh rises up and I think I'd really like to make a fool out of so-and-so, you know, and, and I could, you know, I, I can make them really look stupid and I could make a video and make, and, and I, stop, stop. Don't do that. You got other work to do. Uh, have you forgiven them? Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, well, there's other people out there that need to hear the gospel. There's other people out there that need to hear the truth. So just forget them. Just forget them and move on. Uh, forgive them and forget them. Sometimes that's the best advice. But, uh, you know, just a, a good admonition. Um, let's not let our hearts grow cold. Um, we need to be fervent for the things of the Lord. Be zealous. You know, let me read you a verse of Scripture here on that issue. Um, very important the thing of being a good, zealous Christian. The book of Revelation, chapter 3. Just to add to what this sister is saying. Um, Revelation, chapter 3, verse 14. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works. Does God care about your works? Yes, he does. Works meet for repentance, the Bible talks about. You know, created under, uh, you know, where the grace of God is there created under good works. We're supposed to be works after you get saved. Um, I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Don't act like the lost world. Don't act and be lukewarm and, well, I don't really want to take a stand and I don't really want to... I'll just go along to get along. Not supposed to be that way. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. Like most people in America and most other developed countries. You think that you have everything that you need with your debt-based system of buying things. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Uh, that's going to happen soon to people. Right now is July, early July. Um, for now, they might change it, but uh, the bailout checks and the forbearance is going to end for a lot of people. Forbearance is that you basically go to the bank and say, I've been out of work because of the pandemic. I can't make my bank payments. Give me three or four months and then I can pay. That's forbearance. And there are millions of Americans that are in forbearance right now and their time's running out. And they need to come up with the money of all the months that they missed. Okay. And they might find out very quickly that they are actually poor and wretched and miserable and blind and naked. They might find that out very quickly. Look at the first Great Depression if you don't know what I'm talking about. A lot of people that uh, had it all figured out and had all their nice little credit based buying this with debt and buying that with debt. And just like that, stock market crashes, boom, run on the banks, people coming in, taking their money out and everybody's in the banks close and they say, what about our money? Sorry, it's gone. And all of a sudden, these people are out on the street. Tent cities are growing all across America. The illusion, the American dream is disappearing. Verse 18, I counsel thee to buy of me, a, to, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that, they, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, notice this is done in love, I rebuke and chasten. Does God rebuke you when you sin? When your heart gets cold? Does he chasten you? Does he punish you? You say, well, no, not me. I, I don't have any conviction. Then God doesn't love you. The book of Hebrews calls you a bastard if you're without chastisement. You don't know who your father is. Hmm. A lot of people don't know who the God the Father is. He's a separate God than God the Son. <laughs> as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Yeah, good reminder from an older sister in the Lord. Right there. Be zealous. Nobody comes before God 
Federal government comes along and says, do this, do that. Bible says not to, not listening. Sorry, I'm not conforming to your system. So thank you very much for the letter of encouragement. And uh, we'll go on to the last letter.